dear students today i will explain about the antigen antibody reactions it is a part of immunology antigen antibody reactions the antigen antigen is nothing but the foreign substance they enter in our body they provide immune response for the production of antibodies antigens include microorganisms and the substances like proteins polysaccharides carbohydrates toxins chemicals and drugs these are all act as antigens antigens enter in our body from outside antigens enter in our body from outside they are they involved in immune response by production of antibody when antigen enter in our body immediately our body produces antibodies this antibodies fight against the antigens antigenic part is known as epitope antigenic part is known as epitope and the antibody part is known as paratope they combines and uh, paratope combines with epitope the specific antigen involves in the production of specific antibodies that is iso antigens iso antigens provides iso antibodies means same antigen and the to fight against same antibody production is also there antibodies antibodies are present in our body in serum body fluids these antibodies are nothing but immunoglobulins antibodies are also called immunoglobulins immunoglobulins are represented as ig immunoglobulins are represented as ig antibodies are also called immunoglobulins they involved in the immunity production and these immunoglobulins are different types these are five types g a m d and e immunoglobulins are present in our body for antigenic stimulation they produces and immunoglobulins are also called antibodies these immunoglobulins are present in serum and these are the five types g a m d and e g means gamma IgG G means gamma A means alpha mu delta epsilon these five types of immunoglobulins present in our body to fight against the pathogens or disease causing agents this antigenic part epitope epitope combines with the paratope epitope combines with the paratope paratope is the antibody present and then this immunoglobulins are by shape immunoglobulins are antibodies are by shape and epitope paratope combines to form different reactions specific antibody uh, combines with specific antigens specific antigenic stimulation specific antibody production is they and the shape depend upon lock and key model antigen antibody combines with lock and key model and this antigen antibody reactions with it reaction means the interaction between antigen and antibody is known as antigen antibody reaction it is abbreviated as ag and ab the interaction between antigen and antibody is known as antigen antibody reactions and antibodies are present in our body antigens are comes outside the body and few antigens are also present in red blood cells the red blood cells are having the antigens and antigen antibody reactions are mainly four types the first one is agglutination and the second one is precipitation the third one is complement fixation and the fourth one is neutralization antigen antibody reactions are four types agglutination precipitation complement fixation and neutralization these antigen antibody reactions in the first one is agglutination agglutination means when antigen antibody combines to forms a clumps or agglutinins when combines the antigen antibody forms clumps that is known as agglutination when antigen combines with antibody they form clumps or agglutinins 
that reaction is known as agglutination this agglutination these are antibodies and this antigen antibody combines with antigen to form agglutination these antigens are agglutinogen antigens are known as agglutinogen and the antibody known as agglutinin agglutinogen combines with agglutinin to form agglutination that means forming of the clumps and this agglutination is used in the blood grouping used in blood grouping ab o blood grouping and rh blood grouping type for recognition of the blood group agglutination uses is in blood grouping coombs test and vidal test vidal test that is a typhoid test for that is typhoid agglutination is used and agglutination means when antigen combines with antibody it forms clumps or agglutinins that is known as agglutination the antigen is agglutinogen and the antibody is agglutinin agglutinogen agglutinin combines to form agglutination and next is precipitation the second one is precipitation the soluble antigen provides the insoluble precipitate combines with antibody that we can see in the test tubes for the uh, for doing the experiments and and uh, mostly antibodies are bivalent the binding sites are two antibodies are the bivalent the antigens are the multivalent they have the different antigenic sites and the epitope are also called antigenic determinants epitopes are also called antigenic determinants antigenic determinants this and epitope combines with the parent specific antigenic stimulation specific antibody production is there then fit the lock and key model and involved in the antigen antibody reactions agglutination used in the blood grouping coombs test vidal test and the next precipitation the precipitation means antigen antibody combines to form precipitate we can see in the test tubes the reaction you can observe the forms precipitate precipitation means antigen antibody forms precipitate in the agglutination they forms clumps in precipitation they forms precipitate these are the agglutination and the precipitation reaction and the hapten 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 means incomplete antigen hapten means incomplete antigen they combine with antibody that but not producing immune response that that not produce immunity when they produce immunity they combine with carrier hapten means incomplete antigen they provides immunity when combines with the carrier that is hapten and the antigens antigens are foreign substances that they produce in our body and they provide the antibodies they enter in our body provide antibodies antigens are nothing but microorganisms and their substances toxins proteins polysaccharides carbohydrates and drugs chemicals these are all act as antigens when antigen and enter in our body for this antigenic stimulation our body produces antibodies these antibodies are y shape antibodies are y shape antibodies are also called immunoglobulins immunoglobulin globulin is the protein globulin is the protein so it is called they involved in immunity immune response proteins involved in immune response so it is known as immunoglobulins this immunoglobulins are five types g a m p and e gamma alpha mu delta epsilon these five types of immunoglobulins present in our body to fight against the antigens few antigens are present in red blood cells also the interaction between antigen and antibody is known as antigen antibody reaction the interaction between antigen antibody and it is abbreviated as ag and ab these reactions are four types agglutination precipitation 
complement fixation and neutralization agglutination the agglutination involved that means blood uh, red blood cells that is known as beam agglutination the agglutination in blood is known as beam agglutination if agglutination observe in bacteria that in the fight against the bacteria is known as bacterial agglutination that known as bacterial agglutination and uh, this agglutination process involved in the blood group in wounds test and voidal test and the precipitation when antigen combines with antibody it forms precipitate you can observe in the test tube and the uh, for this experiment to take five test tubes and the equivalence of serum is taken in the said test tubes and we can add antigenic solution in the test tubes and uh, after some time we observe the precipitate in the test tube that is known as precipitation reaction this is about the antigen antibody reactions